Now the community is working to support her family. News Nights Chris Yu explains how you can help the loved ones of Sergeant Megan Burke. Sergeant Megan Burke has answered her final call on September 29th, 2022. She's remembered for her service, her love for fitness, and her affinity for animals. Megan had a strong passion and desire to help our community by bringing her infectious smile and laughter. Sergeant Megan Burke began her career at the Oklahoma City Police Department in 2016. But early Thursday, when Sergeant Burke was driving on I-44, another vehicle went over the center guardrail and hit her vehicle head on. She died at the scene. Heartbroken, um, you know, kind of takes the breath right out of you. Sergeant Burke was 31. Upon hearing the news and, and just being devastated, we have to pick up. We have to be prepared to help the family deal with things, and that's when we went into action. To support her family, the Oklahoma City Fraternity Order of Police Foundation is accepting donations. You can give by visiting FOP's website. And we don't have any overhead, so when people contribute, uh, we're able to give everything collected to that cause or to that person's family. A family who is grieving over a woman who loved Christmas and the people she served. Her work ethic uh, seems to be, you know, top notch and who, who she was as a person, loving, caring, giving and, and selfless were just some things that would probably describe her off the top of anyone's head. A celebration of life service for Sergeant Burke will take place next Thursday at 4 p.m. at Southern Hills Baptist Church. As for the fundraiser by the FOP, we'll post a link to that on our website, news9.com. In Oklahoma City, Chris Yu. Our thoughts and prayers go out to your family and friends. Your brothers and sisters in blue will take it from here. Oklahoma's own News 9.